A coin flip is totally fair, right? It's not. Only if you're a sucker. Are you a sucker? Because it's not fair. Because you cheat. You, you, you cheat. This episode of Scam School brought to you by GoDaddy and Netflix. Go to www.netflix.com slash scam school for your free trial membership. Welcome to the only class where drinking's on the syllabus. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and there are no words to describe how excited I am about today's scam. It takes one of the simplest, most uncorruptible institutions and makes it work in your favor because we are going to learn how to cheat at a simple coin flip. Howdy guys, I am Brian and you are? Rocky. Rocky and? Ritu. Ritu, awesome. Okay, we're gonna play a game that will look so totally fair because if there's one thing everybody knows is there's no way to cheat on a totally fair coin at flipping. The odds are always what? 50-50. 50-50, right? Because now I'm gonna say, because I'm a gentleman, that this is not a rigged or weighted quarter. It's not double-headed. In fact, to make it absolutely clear, I wrote H on one side for the heads and T on the other side for tails. But we're not just going to flip the coin once, mainly because that would be a very short episode of Scam School. We are like, heads, and the trick's over. What we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the coin over and over and over again, and we're gonna record the result. I want you guys to pick whatever three digits you think are most likely to come up first in a series of throws. So imagine we flip the coin 10 times in a row, you pick a three digit sequence, heads, 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 tails, heads, tails, tails, heads, and that'll be your horse, and then I'll pick mine, and we'll see whose horse comes up first. Make sense? All right, you guys discuss it among yourselves. What's it gonna be? Did you tell how to tell? Okay. So there's Brian and, and the, the ladies. ladies. <laughs> and the ladies, they pick? Um, tails, held, uh, tails, head, tails. Okay, so that's tails, heads, tails, right? Uh-huh. And I'm gonna go with tails, tails, heads. Fair enough, right? So at this moment, I think we could agree, what are the odds? Gotta be about the same. Go ahead and go ahead and flip them, and we'll go whoever shows up first. All right, so that's tails. All right, so it's tails, and then tails, flip it again. And then it's in your hands. Heads. Oh, look at that! What? What are the odds? Right off the bat, tails, tails, heads, and I got tails, tails, heads. But I tell you what. do that? We'll <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a rematch. We'll do a rematch. I tell you what, I'll let you He's pick so a total. <laughs> Here, we'll put a big fat check mark next to Brian. All right, I tell you what, we'll pick another one. You guys can Fine. pick whatever com com combination you want. Now you need to go over there so we discuss. Oh, okay. This. All right. Here, I'll just. I'm gonna go visit this area over here. I'm gonna stand in the corner like Blair yeah. Witch Project. I'm all yeah. alone with my beer. No, but we need something that'll actually come. In. Listen, they're like, maybe like, the coin can hear our decision. Don't let the coin hear either. Okay. All right, we got it. All right, you ready? Yeah. Awesome. By the way, I'm so excited that you are the people who we picked for this trick because you said that you studied finance, so that you know about <laughs> statistics and numbers. So this has to be driving you nuts. So the next one, what are you guys gonna go for your next attempt? Head, head, tail. All right, so we'll do the ladies say heads, heads, tails. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do tails, heads, heads. So again, clearly, the odds are the same, right? Okay. What are the odds that one of us is gonna win? Gotta be the same. All right, start flipping them. You start recording. All right, that's heads. Tails. Tails. Not good for Brian. Tails again. Heads. And we're back to tails. Heads. Tails. Tails. Heads. heads. Come on, heads. Heads. heads and Brian wins again. Put a big fat check mark next to Brian is the winner. Da da. -da. All right. <laughs> now here's the question. Are you a little bit annoyed? Are you gonna do a little dance now? Oh, you better believe I'm gonna do my dance. <laughs> okay, but the important thing is 
Like, first of all, this broke my brain. You can't cheat at flipping a coin, but it turns out you totally can. And the best part is, I'm gonna teach you exactly how. But first, we have to thank the sponsors who make Scam School possible. All right, by now you know the game we're playing with our Domain Smack contest. We're looking for the most absurd, the most outrageous domains that are being used to insult your friends. Because they're so easy and so cheap through our sponsor at GoDaddy.com to purchase, you can do it just to spite your friends. You can mock anything from big business to celebrities to the secret loves and desires of your friends. I want to see you guys get creative. Send them to me at Brian at Revision3.com and we'll feature them right here on the show. But the important thing is when you register your domain, make sure to go to Go daddy.com and use the promo code scam 10 at checkout that'll get your domain for seven dollars and 99 cents each and they'll forward it anywhere you want absolutely free get your piece of the internet at godaddy.com all right so seriously on a scale of one to like brain explosion annoyed how frustrating is this for you at this moment because you guys know statistics we're pretty up there and and so <laughs> you're like, one to brain explosion we're like a you know pie yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the deal. This is one of the scams. We always ask people to send in their favorite scams, and recently somebody sent in a mathematical paradox. This is a non-transitive math problem, and it's something that defies all logic. It's called Penny's Game, or Penny's Ante, and it's, uh, it's named for the mathematician who actually calculated it. It turns out that when you flip a bunch of coins in order, there's a system that will allow you to have a much better odds of winning over your friend. At the most, it'll be seven to one in your favor. At the worst, it'll be two to one in your favor. Now this, I'll, I'm not gonna lie, this very first one where I nailed it on the first try, yeah. that was just dumb luck. <laughs> I was but like, the, Whoa. the second one, I had a three to one odds in my favor. So it wasn't too surprising that it pulled off, but it's still, this is one, it could go wrong, it's not 100%, but it works enough of the time that it's always worth putting up some money for an even money bet. I'm gonna walk you through the system, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna try to explain why the math works out. The secret is, first of all, remember the rules. The game is that you're gonna keep flipping coins in series always looking at the three most recent throws. So it's like heads, heads, tails, tails, heads, tails, 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 you know, and, and, and you always are looking at just the last three. The way I pick mine is based on what you guys pick. So in other words, you'll notice I always make you choose first. And you know, you can make it seem like you're giving the honors to someone else or being a gentleman, but really what you're doing is you're cheating. All you need to do, whatever they pick is gonna determine what you pick. So pick any three outcomes. What do you want? Um, heads, tail, tail. Okay, heads, tails, tails. So again, that's the ladies pick. So the way I pick mine is I take the first two of yours and I move it to the last two of mine. So heads, tails was the beginning of yours. So heads, tails will be the end of mine. To pick that first digit, I do whatever the opposite of the last digit is. So in this case, we got head, tails at the end. Tails is the last. So that means heads will be at the beginning. So let's try another one, just, just for sake of discussion. Pick another three. Tails, tails, tails. Tails, 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 that's a good one. So if you do tails, 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 I'm gonna take the, which ones? So you do, it'll be HTT, right? Uh, that's right, see, look at that, you're too <laughs> far ahead. You're too fast, we're supposed to be drinking here. Oh, sorry. You take the first two. <laughs> I guess you, I need another shot. You move them <laughs> to the back. So you're going to end with TT, and to pick the first digit, what do you do, Rocky? You have to flip it. You have to do the opposite of the last one, so it's HTT. Now, in the case, if somebody picks TTT or HHH, you have a seven to one advantage over them. When we create a bunch of random coin flips, we're essentially in a race to see whose sequence shows up first. I'm picking a sequence that by its very nature will cheat and be finished before yours has the opportunity to finish. Now, it doesn't work all the time, but it works most of the time. Here's why. For example, let's say you picked T, 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 and I picked H, T, T. And let's start flipping the coin and see what happens. So go ahead and flip the coin. Now, in this case, our first result was H, which means no matter what happens for the rest of the game, I absolutely will win because let's say the next one was also H. And let's say it was oh, yeah. H for a long, long time. Then it doesn't matter because there's, because there's an H that's first in the sequence, you will always win. in order for you to win by getting three T's, you have to get the first two T's. 
which means the moment you get your first two T's, those are my last two T's. You're Does smart. that make sense? <laughs> In other words, look at it this way. When you look at a sequence, and at the moment I win, the next coin flip could have made you the winner, but you never get that chance because I'm always the one who ends first. Does that make sense? Right. It's one of those things, like we say on Scam School, you can either blindly accept it by faith and it'll still work all the time, or most of the time, but if you want to actually figure out the math, I recommend checking out the Wikipedia page or just do it a bunch of times and you'll start to understand how it works out in your favor. But here's the big question. Can you guys remember the formula and pull it off? I think I can. All right, we're going to find out, but first we have to thank our sponsor. Guys, seriously, how great is Netflix? They're up to 12 million members now and the service just keeps getting better. Not only do you have DVDs and Blu-rays sent to you by mail, not only do you download stuff over the internet to your computer, but you can download and watch movies on your Xbox, on your Nintendo Wii, on your PS3, and the list keeps growing. When they're sent over the mail, movies arrive in one business day and there's no due dates or late fees. Take as much time as you want. When you watch it instant streaming, you get instant gratification and the number of titles just keeps going up. Up. Now, most of you know Netflix has been sponsoring us for like 18 million years, but there's only one way that they can know for sure that the sponsorship is working. When you sign up for your free no-risk trial, you gotta go to netflix.com slash scam school. This is the website that tells them that it's my free beers given tutorials that's making them the money, and it's what keeps us in business. Head on over to netflix.com slash scam school so we get credit for your sign up. Now before we begin, I gotta remind you that this is not a guaranteed victory. Like I said, the spread goes anywhere from seven to one in your favor to two to one in your favor. So it may be that the loser beats the winner or the winner beats the loser. But for our experiment, we need to pick who's gonna be the cheater, who's gonna be the cheated. I'm gonna be the cheated. You're gonna be cheated, and she's the cheater. I'm the cheater. Dirty <laughs> cheater. Dirty girl. Awesome. I tell you what, I'll be the scorekeeper. So we're gonna start off, you've got the coin, and so that means since you're the scamster here, who gets, who I do you want? No, no, you can flip it, but, yeah. the, but the most important question is, who needs to pick the letter first? I, I tell you, you drive, you're Brian for the rest of this segment. Oh, let me pick first. Ladies I'll first. Go. <laughs> I'll go heads, tails, heads. All right, so Rocky picks HTH, which means you want to pick, this is the hard part, because you, you gotta do it in your head. I forgot. You forgot the formula? <laughs> See, this is why it's important to do the review. Okay, so H, H, T. Perfect, so we've got the correct setup here. Now I'm gonna tell you that the odds are two to one in your favor. You're not definitely gonna win, but you certainly have a good <laughs> chance. So I say you start flipping those coins and I will start recording the results. T, all right? So, so far that's no good for anyone. Heads. 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 Heads, okay, so now at this Wait. point, look at this, already it comes down to this last one. Tails. And there it is, tails right off the bat with two heads. That was awesome. You guys were absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much. Hope you guys had a good time. Now we've had a ton of people send in this non-transitive coin flipping scam, but we do want to give a special shout out to Scott Cram, who runs the Gray Matters blog all about kick-ass math puzzles just like this one. Now remember, the odds will be heavily in your favor, but it doesn't mean you're always going to win. Be prepared for the contingency plan of what happens if they get a lucky flip. By the way, I want to hear about your success stories and failure stories, so hit us up at the boards at revision3.com slash scamschool, where you can see all of our episodes right back to episode one. If you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at revision3.com. If you're doing the Twitter thing, you can follow the show at twitter.com slash scamschool, or you can follow my adventures all over the country at twitter.com slash wood. Next week, we're gonna be learning from a memory expert, a mnemonic device that will allow you to memorize the entire Constitution in 20 minutes. Until then, back to the bar. <laughs> <laughs>